Hello and good morning everyone. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. I'm not doing good. I've been up since just after three. So my day is quite long already. So um, yeah, so you'll just have to bear with me. I didn't get dressed. I don't feel like getting dressed. Actually, I'm not that happy right now. And I'll tell you that. I went to my doctor yesterday and to see about getting my form done for MPI. And it was um, for my driver's fitness. And I, um, I thought, okay, well, fine, you know, like if they just have me so that I can drive around town, I'm okay with that. And, and uh, and that, but she was... She filled out my form and here it is that you are supposed to, um, fill in, you know, like here, right? So. Here she's got like this. She's got it circled and a line through it. So it's it's like she's got here. Do you recommend removing the license? Okay. Well, she's got it circled and then she's got a line through it and then here do you recommend a, a specialist opinion then she's got a circle and a line through it so Juliet was saying well maybe it was that she means that that's what it is you know or whatever but here she's got up here, she's got that. So that that would be, that's what it is. And like over here, she's got like here, she's got that filled in and, and that filled in. So, what is it really here? Is it, is it that she recommends that I, I, that my license be revoked? See, like here. Like, what is it? Is it a yes or is it a no? So, in other words, I'm going to have my driver's license revoked. But I am going to try that I can do a, um, that I'm going to ask for an actual road test and a written test. And, and then we'll see where that goes. Or I'd like to get a second opinion, right? The only thing is with a second opinion, you have to have a doctor who knows you. And 
Yeah. That's hard because I haven't been dealing with any other doctor. I had Dr. B down in Portage. And um, so I haven't had the opportunity to be with another doctor for that great length of time. And, you know, and the thing is that here, you can have a doctor, you can have a doctor one week here, and then all of a sudden they're yanked out, and then you don't have a doctor, then you got to start all over again. So, I'm not happy. I'm just not... You know, like she's, she put on here that I'm depressed. Okay, well, so is three quarters of the population are depressed, right? And then she's got depression, um, chronic, major, and unstable. Okay. Um... And then it's like, I, 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 I don't know. But the idea of losing my independence is very unsettling. It's not like I'm here in town and there's a bus service that can take you around all over the place, right? If you don't have a vehicle, you got to walk out here. Oh, and then, and I told her, I said, well, I was looking at getting a tricycle and hopefully a, an electric one if I could get a used one. Or one of those scooters, you know, the mobility scooters. I think we've all seen them. Um, or a golf cart. Well, then she was carrying on about me. Oh, well, you know, have you ever operated one? Can you operate one? You know, do you think that's really wise? I don't think you're going to get it and all that. So I let, after I left there, I was thinking about it. And I thought, maybe she was thinking of a, like a Vespa scooter. Not a mobility scooter. I don't know. I don't know. It's not a wheelchair. It's a, it's a mobility scooter. Scooter, right? And I would only use that when I have to go further away. When I can't walk it. Um, the rest of the time I will walk. Like if I have to go to the credit union or if I have to. But in the winter time, it, it's going to be near impossible. So, hmm. so I don't know what's going to happen. I knew at some point I would probably have my license revoked. Right? I knew, I knew that. And I was... Absolutely, you know, yeah, I know that. But now that I'm faced with it, it's, it's very difficult. You know, there are no taxis in town. Okay, right. this is a very small town. Um... There is the handy van, but 
that's difficult too. Because a handy van isn't a taxi. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't. I really, I don't know. Oh, here, I should say, this is what I'm working on. This is birdhouse. So that's how far I've gotten. So, so I'm dealing with being tired. And I am now dealing with the stress that my license could be revoked. And it probably will be. But I still want to do it that I can do the road test. Um, I'll do that and I will do a, um, I will do a, um, written test. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do it. Uh, I can parallel park. I can, you know. And that's without the use of a rear facing camera. So, yeah, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. But I, I'm just not happy. And I think you all can probably understand my reasoning. So I had asked Juliet, I said, how much is, is it to be taken uptown and go to places and that and she said well it's usually it's three dollars a stop and that's just in town okay so if i have to go to the co-op if i have to go to the pharmacy if i have to go to the um shop easy if i have to go to um the library That all adds up, right? Then I asked, well, how much would it cost if I had to go to Selkirk or to Winnipeg? She says, probably minimum $150. That's minimum. And the more I think about it, the more sick and just, I just want to cry and sob and so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, like if they pull my driver's license, I'm going to keep the insurance on Susie until the end of the year because we have to go to Lundar and into Winnipeg for, um, to take Sydney. I just, 
I don't know. And I know it's don't, you know, don't count your ducks until they've hatched or don't count your chickens until they've hatched, you know, or whatever. The thing is, just based on this, And when I ran it by Juliet, she said, yeah. So I don't know. I don't. So after I'm done here, I am doing my English version. Then I'm doing Auf Deutsch, my video. Then I'm going to uh, I'm going to make um, some vegan stew. So I'm going to um, I bought some um, carrots and celery and um, mushrooms yesterday. And I will, um, I have, I don't have rutabaga and I should have gotten one. See? If I had to run to the store, I can't run to the store. And it's not like I'm centrally located. But I've got potatoes and sweet potatoes, so I will put that in there. And, um, so I will make myself um, some stew or soup or whatever it ends up being. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, I am just, yeah, I'm not very happy. Like, I know here, if I needed something from the store, either store, I can phone over there and they will deliver it. No charge for delivery because I'm right in town, right? They consider this in town. And yet, on other things, they consider this outside of town. So... And then what I would do is I would um, I would sell Susie and buy one of those. It'll either be a tricycle or a mobility scooter. Now there's somebody that has one up for sale family has it up for sale because the gentleman passed away. So I may end up getting that. And, um, Juliet says you can go quite far on one of those. And then also I can get one of those covers to go over. So if it's raining or if it's um, snowing or it's windy or something like that, that I can still, yeah. And 
And it's not like Airdsdale has a lot of stuff. Like I know I can order things online. You know. But if I have to go to, you know, like, like say going down to London, or um, no, it's going to be to Woodlands to take Sydney, right? So I'll still have Susie, the insurance still on Susie. And so that we can just go. But it's still, it's inconvenient, you know, that now it is that I'm reliant on someone else for everything. So, is there anybody else who's in kind of the same predicament? And if you don't have a license, how do you get around? You know, especially if you're out in the country. What do you do if you're rural? I know Juliet's really good. She's treated me really well. And she picks up my mail and she brings me water. And, you know, she'll take me places and that. But if we use her... Her car, which is harder on gas, and she's got more of a lead foot. Um, then it, it's going to cost me quite a bit. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Or what's not going to happen. I don't know. You know, but I really, I really believe that I'm not going to have my, I'm not going to have driving privileges here. Um, it's just, I just know it. You know, it's one thing when you're in the city, right? And you can go out your your door and you can just go a little ways and you can hop on a bus and go to your doctor's appointment or, you know, go to a grocery store and you can get delivery and, and that, right? that it's, but I can't do that here. But what I would do is that I'm going to, if I, it, should I get that mobility scooter, I'm gonna get a little trailer to pull behind it so that I can go and do my grocery shopping and that. You know, so, uh, Only time will tell. I should know. They were faxing it off last night, so. I should know within the next week or so. But. I, I, I think. Yeah, just, just based on what she's done here. So, so 
So what are you all doing now? What are you working on? I'm sorry, I'm not so bubbly. If it wasn't, if, if this wasn't part of the package, maybe. But I'm too tired. I'm just too tired. I'm just, yeah. You know, once you, when you're up at three o'clock in the morning, like how can you be really energetic? How can you be really? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep stitching. Oh, I, I forgot all about this, but you realize that, oops, sorry, it's gonna hold, that Flossmas is starting soon, in another few weeks. Have you got plans for Flossmas? Are you doing a, and if you do, are you doing a new stitching project every day? Are you, um, yeah, like, I'm just going to continue on doing what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not changing it up. It's, uh, I think I already got, I got enough on my plate. <laughs> yeah, there's enough. There's enough. So, uh, it is minus six. Alexa Louder. Alexa, what's the forecast? Right now in Ericsdale. It's minus six degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Throughout the day, you can expect more of the same with a high of minus five degrees and a low of minus 10 degrees. Have a good morning, Eva. Well, that's not very good. That's not very good. Minus 10, oof. No. I had uh, contacted David there to see if he would pop over because I wanted to ask him about, because um, he's got an electric bike. And him and Derek um, from the music shop there, and Derek has an electric bike too, that if he can maybe keep an eye out for an electric trike, But, because then, uh, you know, and then you may think, well, what's the difference between that and a scooter? Well, the trike is that, for one thing, it's a little bit cheaper. Well, no. Used one, mm, yeah. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm just thinking things through. That's that's all right now. But if any of you have any ideas, I'm open to it. Please and thank you. Yes, 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 I'm open to it. I would like to hear what your comments are on this. And... Um, Yeah. So, okay, well, I'm just finishing here. So, and I will continue working on this today. So, so that's, that's where I'm at. I'm working, oops, sorry. I'm working up here on the swag here. This is the swag part. And the cat is right here. 
So I've got a little bit of the cat done. You can see its ears here. There's one ear. And I don't know where the other one there. And there it's eyes. So yeah, watching the birdies. All right, everyone, I guess that's it for now. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I just need to come to terms with it all, right? So it's, and once I do that, once I know what I can and cannot do and where I, the direction I'm going, we'll see what happens. So, but I'm probably going to get one of those mobility scooters. But as long as I can walk, I will walk. Um, but with the weather being like it is, there's no way. No way. So, but Juliet, bless her heart, will pick up my mail. And um, if she goes anywhere, she'll call me and she'll ask if I need anything and, and that. So, that part's good. That part's good. So, all right, everyone. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. And Sydney is down here. Just a minute. There they are. That's Sydney. And that's Lily Bell. And then over there is Jenna. So, yeah. Everybody's sleeping. Except me. <laughs> okay, everyone. So, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven. And on that note, I will see you tomorrow. Toodle-oodles, everybody!